Hey everybody, this is Rido, and we're back to the Evil Within. So it's been a took a break, probably at one of the worst points ever. You could take a break. Um, we're in this section that almost certainly is a area where I'm gonna activate these spinning traps, and they are going to be something I have to avoid uh, these spinning traps but I think I'm gonna have to avoid them and also move some kind of enemy into it and see I just walked through a checkpoint which makes me suspect like I don't know I don't know exactly what we're doing here. Hmm. Interesting. Well. A lot of quick and instant deaths have been happening lately. So here's, here's the deal with what just happened. I turned off the light. In the darkness, you cannot see these lines. They seem, the tripwires in particular, as a rat runs by, seems to be specifically programmed to not be visible when the lamp is off. But then I have a slight feeling that the if when the lamp is on, you are convincing enemies to come towards you. Hmm. So we've got what looks like a heating up section in one place. And something is somewhere in that sees me. Hmm. Hmm. What does this do? So I'm not totally getting it. Like I, I'm, I'm not totally getting what I'm supposed to be doing here. Let's say we switch over to our explosive bolts, and we crawl down here, and we have to dismantle this. We have to do this. And then it almost seems as if there's see like that cutscene puts us and shows us sections of the gameplay that doesn't fully make sense and they won't just crawl into that they won't just walk into these these sections Like, what is this doing? Uh, apparently this guy has a instant kill. Alright. Hmm. <sighs> So 
So shotguns, and then when he gets around, we we run to the to the other enemy, and we start throwing grenades at him. Hmm. Hmm. And we can try some of this. How many bullets, uh, matches do I have? Hmm. Darn it. Alright, um. Switch here. Let's run past this guy. Blow myself up on it while I'm at it. Alright, this guy's done. So we got our spinning sections here, and that just seems like it does not move up until later. So, will this go back up? Yes, it will. So I'm going to have to crawl and kind of run. And one assumes that there's nothing special or secret back there. Um, if I run into another massively powerful guy, um, See, I'm thinking the backsides of these will retract. No, I guess you're safe. Hmm. I kind of need a checkpoint. Yeah, if I just end up fighting another big guy, I don't have any... I only have two more explosive grenades. And that's... That's going to be a limiting factor. Suppose there's... That's a valid question, except for the fact that we kind of already know what this place is. We know what everything is. It's a fiction. It's a merging of at least three psychotic, I would argue psychotic individuals. Uh, 
mines. Alright, so there we got a checkpoint. I'm happy for that. I don't want to use the stim pack right now because I'm kind of in a have a little too much health for that. I still want to get goo. Darn it. Good news is I think this guy might be like Are you going down? There we go. Um, and apparently I glitched the game a little bit there. There's just not enough bullets in the game to take on these type of enemies consistently. Like, this has to be the end of this section, and I cannot break this without coming at a different angle. Hmm. And I don't think we're far enough for, along. And I, I don't know how to also adjust for things like that. Wasting matches. Hmm. Let's bring out the light, I suppose. A lot of slicing and dicing. Hmm. Hmm. And this, I think, is going to... This is probably going to introduce somebody new. Either that or this was only here as a way of blocking you from reaching this point until you had cleared off, cleared out the previous section. I guess that's what I should take from that. And there you have a out of place light. Some goo. Some more bolts. Hmm. I'm still not certain about the whole bolt thing. Like, if I have a bolt gun equipped. A flash bolt, a harpoon bolt, or an explosive bolt, an electricity bolt. None of that seems like that really does anything in any kind of speed or process that would be helpful. Which leaves me with my 10 shots, and I don't think I have any... Um, Is that just going to stay up there? Can I really crawl through this? I mean this... Wow, I mean that's like pixels worth of space. I would have not 
believe that that was doable. And see, now we're back to where we started. We've gone full circle. And I kind of think, like, this door, I think would take us in circles back to where we, we were in the first place, so I don't think there's a reason to do that. Unless we have to actually run a full circle a second time. And these bottles are jokes. This is where we turn the battery on. And it's kind of a confusing layout for, for a level. And through here we go. And we'll see if there's any booby traps. Or any more monsters. Or if we just walk down yet another hall and it starts changing and we end up in a completely different place. Hmm. And they went with it completely changes. So then they're kind of introducing the idea that the monsters themselves might have the ability to swap you into different realities. Uh, unless there is some brain connection here that is moving you out of harm's way. Uh, and see now we're kind of not in a torturous section as much as we are now in half facility, half house. And we're moving towards wheelchairs, which then gets us back to the hospital. Hmm. And every time you burn one of these bodies, you gotta wait forever to see if they drop anything. And in that instance, they didn't. Of course, that would have been a, a good point for it to have dropped something. Uh, well, or at the very least, that's a good point to, drop, to burn a body so it doesn't jump up on you. Hmm. Everything I have. Everything I am. Hmm. Hmm. Deep down, I know she was only an apparition, but I would regain my face, recover what was taken from me, restore her, my beloved sister, Laura. So it still sounds like Castiano's voice, but that's supposed to be Ruvik's story, and that's just awkward. There's plenty of reason here to, to kind of believe that Cassianos lost his mind after his daughter was burnt in the house. The similar stories does really imply that at least one of them is not real and it's a fantasy. I've seen that in a few psychological horror movies. You have one fantasy that's somewhat similar but not quite exactly right to what actually happened hmm. instead of fantasies being completely unrelated I've watched friends and colleagues die before part of my job that I've taken it's never been easy uh, but nothing can compare to losing your own child. I, I'd die a million times over to prevent it, but I can't. I felt so hopeless when they lowered that tiny coffin into the ground. The pain is unbearable. I know I shouldn't, but drinking is the only thing that let me sleep for the last few weeks. I'm worried about Myra. This has been an extremely hard time on her uh, and her way of handling. It has been unnerving. She wants to be alone. She's taken to staying up all night. She says she's doing work to keep her mind off the tragedy, but she seems to 
be closing herself off to the world. I know what tends to happen when couples lose a child, and I hope we're strong enough to avoid it. Again, half of this dialogue could have been slightly to the left, use two column widths, and, and then I wouldn't have had to scroll down. I don't know why all of this dialogue is being squished on the right, and there's literally nothing on one third of the screen on the left. Also, I'm not, I, I am realizing I'm not exactly reading this directly word for word. I'm changing a few th things just because I'm sort of trying to speed read it. Hmm. The game is doing a pretty excellent job on no longer making me say feel safe in the safe room. Uh, I suppose the idea here, this wouldn't have worked if it weren't for the fact that they established. Uh, have you forgotten something? Like. If they hadn't established this as a safe room in the first place, I, you wouldn't have fallen for that. Hmm. Missing Patrick Higgins, lawyer for the Victoriano family, last seen meeting with the man believed to be a client. Hmm. So it seems like Ruben slash Ruvik was killing a lot of people. Home destroyed by fire, daughter of police officer among victims, the body of the Lily Castellanos five and babysitter Yonita Flores were found uh, in the chart home. Both the child's parents are police officers and were on duty at the time police were investigating as a possible arson. I thought I had already read that one, but it's possible that I didn't save after reading that one. Hmm. Let's see if this door is still locked. No? It's it's open now. Seems like it decided to, to lock and unlock itself for no reason other than probably just to be creepy. We're not making a lot of progress as far as all the map fragments. I'm, I wouldn't even be surprised if it turns out you can't get all the map fragments in one playthrough and you have to play a second time and collect the same things at the same places just twice over. What's in this one? 5,000 or 7,000? 5,000? Not terrible. But 5,000 really is the default of goo that you'll get and there's only a few places where you'll get 7,000 so this one and let's see if I can remember uh, I believe there was one either on the left or right of this one that uh, we were supposed to get and then I think number three was the 7,000 so, at the very least, I would say don't start on the top row, start on the middle row. It will give you several thousand more goo, or it should. I could be wrong about that. But, frankly, you probably should use a map, uh, a walkthrough strategy guide to get as much goo as possible, so you can upgrade as much as possible. Hmm. There's a lot of booby traps and instant kills there, which kind of just tells me I don't probably need to deal with that. In the end, getting a life gauge to the maximum is not a terrible thought, and syringe recovery up a little bit more probably wouldn't be a terrible thought either. Uh, right now I'm low on shotgun ammo, and I think I'm low on sniper rifle ammo. So I don't think it would make sense to get any of those. Uh, in trying to increase the explosive bolt weapons, it, that might eventually explain away and make more sense. Uh, but 
What if we just increased the handgun ammo? We're getting... We've been pretty consistent on handgun ammo. Uh, let's see. So... Yeah, it, it really comes down to do I want to increase the, the life gauge or do I want to increase the, the amount of damage I want to do? And in almost every instance, when that's the case, I want to increase the amount of damage I want to do. So 200% damage with, let's see, a full clip capacity and... A increased fire rate and that leaves me with 100 and maybe we'll start increasing the damage we do with the shotgun it seems kind of unnecessary to increase the, the damage on the sniper rifles for as little as you use it hmm. now in RE4 which is really the only game that this sh probably should be referenced to against. There was a lot of guns that you could get that uh, were better than the original gun. Here, we're so so far along, it, it would be kind of unlikely that we run into any any gun replacement over a revolver hmm hmm I also have a slight concern that maybe the shotgun just does three or four times the amount of damage that a revolver does shot does regardless of it being upgraded or not. If there is an equation to like that level, then I don't know how you fix that. So we've got a hair creature crawling around, but it seems to be encased and encaged. If anything, I might just be able to activate the fan and kill it. Yeah, and maybe this is, is a path to get some pot shots off on her. Hmm. And it seems if I go down this way, I'm trapped in there with her. So is this a completely avoidable boss fight? Hmm. No, I can't do anything with the button. So this is still under the line of you need to uh, restore power. And in restoring power, you're going to cause yourself some trouble. So I'm going to pull this. And then what am I going to do? Maybe try to run for that. Hmm. This might be a position where it would have paid off to come on it what might have paid off to to increase my sprint after that previous section and when sprint would have been helpful is is it following me or is it just kind of running hmm um
Yeah, I don't think so. Not those giant hands. So I missed another thing of goo, but I, I suspect some of these goo sections, uh, the col collectible goo things. Here's a typewriter reference to the old Resident Evil games in which you had to use a typewriter to save. Of course, you have to basically use the save point, the save room now to save, so it's effectively the same thing. Hmm. So, further we will go. Uh, maybe we will fight another hair monster. Maybe not. Maybe it's just a callback. When we look at where we are in the game, some references to some of the other enemies kind of makes sense, but interesting. I have two fragment pieces right back to back, which I don't, I don't get that. It, it seems like there, there must be entire secret areas and sections that I'm missing. And that'd be crazy if the evil within had me like hallucinating doors being locked in, in the first playthrough and then the second playthrough it you 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 find the doors that actually weren't locked and there there's more things to collect and find newspapers were doing pretty good and except for I've missed a couple uh missing posters seems like we missed a couple and everything at the beginning seems to kind of understandably have a gap where I wasn't playing too well. Hmm. Yeah, I think we may just get another battery pack. So right about here is where I missed a part of the map early on, and there's probably some collectibles there. Yeah, we're in Chapter 10, The Craftsman's Tools, and... It's been going on long enough that I wouldn't be surprised if there's just a little bit to go. I also wouldn't be surprised if there's a boss fight. Uh, actually, there's kind of nothing this game could do that would surprise me at this point because everything seems like it's on the table. Sometimes you're taking on several smaller enemies. Sometimes you're doing traps. Sometimes you're taking a boss on. That's going to be it for this recording, though. As always, I ask you to like, share, subscribe, comment, and watch every second of my videos. If you want a friend to follow me on basically any social media sites, there's a whole bunch of links down below. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.